Um, so a lot of people have been wondering why poor people tend to have so many mental health problems. And it's because, well, we don't often have enough food to last us through the month. And worse off, the food banks, they don't give you a lot of food. They give you enough food to maybe last you like three days. It's never really enough to get you through the rest of the month. Now, me and my husband, we've been going to like loan centers and you know, that's a, a, a tricky slippery slope if you're not careful. And, you know, that's how we've been surviving. That and food banks. The reason people who don't have a lot of money tend to have so many slippery mental health problems, aside from drugs and alcohol, is literally a lack of food. A lack of substance. You see, the thing about food, right, and humans and why we need to eat is there's, we need the nutrients for our brains. The, the majority of our bodies function is less so our bodies can survive and more for our brains to survive. Like, our body does not need our brain. Our brain needs our body. Okay. When we don't have enough food in our system, the chemicals in our brains get scrambled, I guess would be a good word. Um, now, right now, my husband's taking neurology for his psychology course at Lakehead University. Neuroscience. Neuroscience. And so you'd probably have a bit of a better explanation of what I'm talking about, Logan. I'm too deprived of true food to think. He's too deprived of food to think. Um, so, but basically what happens is when your brain isn't getting the nutrients it needs, you get mentally ill because your brain will start either overproducing chemicals or underproducing chemicals. You need food for your brain to have the appropriate chemical potential. Does that sound right? Yeah. So, I guess what I'm saying here is, if you got lots of money, well, I'm not telling you to give it to me. Give it to the food banks. Maybe if they were getting a little bit more funding, donations in, people like me would have a better outlook in life. And then there's this other thing where there's more and more people who you wouldn't think are quote unquote poor going to the food bank. Less and less people, you know, are, are being able to afford rent and food. And some of these people, they work like three jobs. Like they're getting paid like $18 an hour. There's something wrong here, people. Nothing says you're living in a dying economy like people becoming mentally ill and dying from starvation. And people working th three to six jobs all day, all week to keep their kids housed and fed and closed. And next thing you know, they're on the street. Their kids in foster care. And soon enough, there won't even be foster care because where where are the foster parents going to live if they can't afford homes? We need to change, people. We need to change. 
We need to change what we're doing. We need to fix things. Because... our civilization is gonna go extinct. I'm not saying we have to dump our technology. I'm not saying we have to dump our, our religions and our ideologies. I'm saying we as a civilization need to do better from the whole get-go. And I really do mean it. If I ever do get into professional acting, and you know what, I, I get the money I'm hoping to be getting, the things that I'm gonna be doing are putting money into low-income housing, into food stability programs, into drug safety programs, into detox programs, into um, uh, clean water supplies, and stuff like that because I want to do that. I've always wanted to be able to do things like that, but I've never had the financial stability. So that and paying for my therapy bills and my husband's because he needs some massive therapy too. Yeah, we could probably use some couples therapy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with our relationship. It's just well, you don't take your car to the mechanic just because it's broken, right? Sometimes you take the car to the mechanic so it doesn't get broken. It keeps yeah, so it keeps running. A well-oiled machine doesn't break. A well-maintained machine doesn't break. So that's why we want to go to couples counseling. Because we want to have... A relationship mechanic for our relationship because we're co-pilots we're flying this ship through space and we want to you know we want to we want to put the till death to us part you know to its word at least I do Love you, hon. Thank you. Anyways, congratulations. You've got to hear the, the rarely heard husband not to be videoed right now. Um, with that, consider yourselves lucky. You got to hear my husband because he could have just remained silent if he wanted to. Peace, motherfuckers. Love you.